honor the 24th class of Glamour Women of the Year, and they are as gritty and as great as any who have come before them. Tonight you're going to meet women who have worked in war zones, who have walked the ocean floor, who have even looked death in the eye. None of it is easy, and all of it's heroic. The life of Robin Roberts is a powerful demonstration that the best stories are often true. When I find myself becoming sad, it's because I'm living in the past. And when I become anxious, it's because I'm living in the future. It's only when I'm living in the present that I'm at peace. And I gotta tell you, the here and now has never felt so good as tonight. Her silence really impresses me. She lets the clothes speak for themselves. She has taken Alexander McQueen's trademark dark beauty, opened it up, and given it light. Clothes may just be clothes, but dreams are never just dreams. Never take no for an answer, and always believe what's in your heart. Thank you very much. And because of Laverne, America now deeply understands what transgender means. And all of those young people, whether they're trans or just different, feel worthy because of the example she sets and the woman she is today. It is my hope that this moment tonight will inspire so many people to understand that the issues of transgender women are women's issues. Young women who so deserve an education will not be silenced. They are represented here at Carnegie Hall tonight by 10 brave young women who have faced civil war, violence, abuse, poverty, and indifference to get an education. They and their millions of schoolgirl sisters worldwide are Glamour's 2014 Women of the Year Fund honorees. Dr. Sylvia Earle was a deep sea explorer and scientist so respected and fearless that she's been called a living legend by the Library of Congress. Her nickname is Her Deepness. You have to understand why the ocean matters, why nature matters. For Samantha Power, a journalist, a lawyer, Pulitzer Prize winning author, a Red Sox fan who happens to be 44, the youngest United States ambassador to the United Nations in history. When I labored for six or seven years on a long, dark book about genocide, it wasn't entirely obvious to me that that would lead eventually to me being introduced by Bruce Willis. <laughs> One surefire way, um, notwithstanding your fears, uh, to feel good and to feel strong is not to try to change the whole world at once, try to change your little slice of the world and, and the rest will follow. Even if the fashion world had not discovered Natalia, I have no doubt that we would still be on this stage tonight because Natalia would have found some other way to make a difference. It's not very glamorous to raise a child with special needs and that's why I want to dedicate this beautiful award to all the women out there who stand by their children and especially my mother. Mamochka, it's you. Thank you. I join you in celebrating Miss Mindy Kaling. Writer, producer, director, actor, glamour. As in one who glams, I glam, you glam. We all glam for more glam. More. That I am included in this group of amazing women is appropriate. I'm kind of a big deal. I mean, I've learned from Hollywood. Chelsea Clinton is kicking butt, baby. She has taken the family legacy of public service to a new, powerful, crazy level. Part of what tonight is about is optimism and all the enthusiasm up in the rafters and all of the energy in this room makes me only more optimistic. If we don't tell our own stories, no one else will. Lupita was always from the beginning unafraid to be original. To be a woman is to be human. And to be human is to seek perfection and find joy in never attaining it.